today I will be sharing with you the things that I learned working abroad. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Joyce. I am a nurse here in the UK, here to share to you my life experiences and my journey. And if you are a returnee, thank you, thank you so much for continuously watching my videos and supporting me. For all of us who are working abroad or an OFW, overseas Filipino worker, I think we can all relate to the fact that we have gone through the four stages of culture shock, which is first, honeymoon, second is frustration, third, adjustment, and fourth, finally, adaptation. But what should matter is your own journey and having an acceptance of the fact that it can take as long as you need. I think most of us can relate to this one, that back home, there is someone who is in charge of the food, the bill, and even where to go, where the holiday will be. But being abroad will really give you that sense of independence because you don't have a choice but to be independent. <laughs> in the beginning, it was really difficult for me because I have to make all the decisions, where my money goes, how I would budget it, where I would spend my day off, what to do on my days off, what to buy, what will I cook for the week, what, what will I be eating, who I want to spend my time with. Initially, it was all overwhelming. But then, as I get used to the fact that I am independent, I'm an independent woman, and once I started paying my own bills, really, deciding for everything in my life that's when i realized that i have crossed this invisible line that in a way i can pay for myself and that i can you know i can live on my own it's liberating <laughs> being exposed to a diverse culture here because there are just people from all over the world in London, in the UK. You will be exposed to more ideas and then you will learn that your old ideas probably doesn't suit you anymore. For me, before, what I really wanted was just to make money, make money, make money, make money. Because I wanted to save for the rainy days, be able to support myself, be able to share my blessings to my family. But now, I have realized that what I really wanted in life is of course make money to be able to live comfortably and not live paycheck to paycheck but also in a way that i can take days off and just really focus on things that really make me happy like making videos working out and learning more about myself which can be through reading books or taking courses or lessons that can really totally be unrelated to my profession it can really be very busy one day you are working, second you have a training, third you're with your friends, or fourth you just want to have a rest. Things go by quickly, but it really is important to find time for self-care. Self-care can be different for everybody. Other self-care is like probably going for a walk, or going for a retail therapy, or a long video chat with their family, or a nice hot bath. To me, my self-care is working out reading a non-fiction book or a self-help book and then yeah walking is really therapeutic for me and at times we we might think that i have to cook i have to do the laundry and all those chores but finding that little time for yourself could really be beneficial it gives you a reset it gives you a time to refocus what you really need it, it gives you time to reflect on the things that really matter to you This one is specifically difficult for me because I have this notion before that every time I say no to people's request, I tell them that I don't value the relationship I have with them or that I cannot afford to do something. I became a bit more mature and then I realized that every time I say yes to the things that I don't really want to do or I really don't want to say yes to, I am saying no to the things that matters to me more. Now I'm trying to learn. I'm not completely there yet, but I'm in this journey to give and really to focus more on what I really want. And when I say yes now, it's really for the things that I really want to do and not just because I am pressured or because I am avoiding issues or conflicts. I want to be able to say yes intentionally and no without guilt. It is not just for us OFWs or for us working abroad or the breadwinners of the family. It is for everyone to learn about money because like we all know, 
money is hard to earn but so easy to spend. In the future, we need to grow old and won't be able to work as much as we do now. That time, we would want to have enough money to be able to support our needs and if we are lucky, be able to leave some of that money to our loved ones. According to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, to be able to reach the self-actualization, we really have to first meet the one at the bottom, which is a physiological needs. According to Race in UK, from an article in Metro, it takes about a salary of 33864 to make you happy. And that, I think, is the amount of salary when someone is able to meet those needs and have a bit more for something else that they like pursuing. But also, there's another research about the income and happiness ratio saying that globally, the point where people are most happy is reaching a salary of $75,000 a year. And as they earn more, the curve starts to go down. I cannot say anything about that because I am not earning $75,000, but I think it really comes down to knowing that money is an important tool that we can use to find our happiness, but it is not the center of the happiness. It is just our vehicle to find it. Said you wanted to we can relate this one to minimalism in a way because in minimalism, you don't bring something into your life if they don't spark joy and if they don't have a purpose. Before, I would buy things or I would choose to do things just because it's trendy or because the people around me are doing it or because I don't want to be left out. Now, I do things because it makes me happy and because it parallels to my values. Whenever I make plans or make a purchase, I ask, will it bring value to my life? Do I really need it or do I want it? Do I want it because it's trendy or do I really want it because it aligns to my values? So yeah, it saves me money too. This book has really taken me to places and time that I haven't been to. And it gives me new learnings and perspective about life. That's what I like about books. You get to experience these things without even having to be there. It, it just stimulates your imagination. It's a good way of passing time and it's learning too. Being far from <laughs> Being far from home will really make or break your relationships and it will just really show you if something is really worth keeping or not. Yeah. And that's it guys. These are the things that I learned being out of my comfort zone, which is being away from family and being away from the Philippines. Every day is not a walk in the park. But I'm happy to be learning these things and being able to stand on my own feet and yeah, being able to share this journey with you. I hope you enjoyed this one and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!